Still in those 30s out there. It's pretty similar to the temperature map earlier that we kept showing through the morning shows. So yeah, definitely, like I mentioned earlier, you could have taken a picture and the temperatures would have almost matched up from earlier this morning. We are mostly in those middle to upper 30s, a few lower 40s down along I-95. And those gusty northwest winds are the reason for that, at least one of the reasons for the colder conditions. And of course, we have wind chill to go along out there with those temperatures. Thanks to these winds about 15 to 25 miles an hour. These will be calming down as we head over the next few hours into the evening once high pressure moves directly overhead, but expect to experience some of that wind chill factor again through the rest of the afternoon. We'll settle down later this evening. Clouds have cleared out nicely from earlier this morning. We don't have as sharp of a divide in cloud cover to sunshine from east to west. We still have some clouds lingering over southern PA and Garrett County, but outside of that, everyone else is starting to see that sunshine and even those cloudy locations at the current moment will break out the sun in a little while. And there's that high pressure center. It's move, making its way right across Ohio and it's going to be moving into the four state region later this afternoon and evening eventually sliding off the east coast as we go into the day tomorrow and that's when we'll start to see a return of some warmth as we approach New Year's but seasonably cold for now as we go through today and even tomorrow light rain moves in on New Year's Eve with the first low pressure center that will bring a cold front through and then as we go into early on New Year's Day right as that cold front passes by and the next system approaches we're looking at a pretty prime setup to see some freezing rain areas west of I-81, at least as we go overnight and early in the morning on New Year's Day itself, and that could create some pretty icy conditions. And we're going to keep tracking that. The details will be ironed out in the next couple of days for sure here, but at least for the time being, we are talking about very clear conditions. A lot of sunshine through the rest of the day. Clear skies tonight, but clouds do start to pick back up as we go into Wednesday morning. There could be some precip back up into central PA, but we're not expecting to see much at all across the four state region here. Just going to have that high cloud cover steadily returning as we go into the afternoon tomorrow, and then things will be fairly cloudy as we roll into to Thursday and here comes that cold front again. We're likely to see light rainfall. There's going to be some snow off into PA with that system, but again, it's going to be warm enough across the four state region to just lead to rain. But here's the setup that I was talking about as we go into Thursday night and Friday morning. You get this cool onshore flow and you push that up against the mountain ranges here across the four state region. You'll create a lot of cold air at the surface. It's going to be warmer as you go higher up in the atmosphere as the southerly flow from the storm system kicks in and that's the perfect setup to create that freezing rain here mostly across southern PA western Maryland into the eastern panhandle the main locations that we'll have to keep an eye out for those icy conditions as we roll into the morning on New Year's Day exact ice totals again that's the detail that has to be ironed out in the next couple of days we turn to all rainfall the rest of the day Friday warm temperatures on Saturday once again but then we are going to start to see a moderation in temperatures and some calmer conditions as we get into the first week of 2021.